What's up everybody, my name is Tony and welcome back to Rolda's Details. Today's video is part two of the top 10 mobile detailing setups. And with us today, my friend Phil Miranda is gonna show us his mobile detailing setup. So let's take a look. Hello everybody, my name is Phil. Welcome to Miranda Detailing and thank you Tony for having me on your channel. So today we're going to show you an overview of our trailer, some of the new additions that we added to it and just give you a rundown of why we use the trailer this way as well because we've actually worked out of a small van before. We've worked out of a large full-size van. We've worked out of an SUV and now we have a full-size trailer. Now I'm really loving this setup. Again, it's not completely needed. This is my choice, this is the way that I I want to set up a detailing trailer, it works really well for us. So let's show you around. Okay guys, so here's the back of the trailer, the way that we have it set up now. So we have the new slide out for the generator. It locks into place when you slide it out. It can hold over 200 pounds. And then you lift up the locks, roll it in, locks into place, nice and secure. Same with the pressure washer, it is all bolted in and it is gravity fed from the 65 gallon tank into the pressure washer. It is fed into this 50 foot hose reel. Now I also have the new rack system here for our bottles. I'll give you a close up look. So here's the new bottle setup in the back. It's just a little bit different. I just extended it all the way over here, but I utilized all the space putting all these bulldog clips. That's what these little guys are called. You can buy them at Home Depot or you can buy them in bulk on Amazon, which is a little bit cheaper, but they hold the bottles very securely and I really utilized all the space, lined them all up. So I also have my foam cannon. So I have a McGraw eight gallon air compressor that I purchased at Harbor Freight, which I have tucked away back there. That thing is running strong. It's one of the best air compressors I've had. It fills up very, very fast. And I have it plumbed into a 50 foot line here with my favorite gun that I use to clean interiors with. I also have these PVC bottle holders, which we made, and I have them for 32 ounce bottles and then these smaller 16 ounce bottles. But it's bolted to the top shelf here, so it's not going anywhere, and it holds and organizes all of my detailing products. Now I have other miscellaneous holders here. I have more PVC bottle holders up here, vehicle blower, and more extension cords. I have bottles of Super Clean and other products that I use to clean interior and exterior. I also have my extension cords here wrapped up nicely. And I also have one of my little Tornador knockoff tools up here, which this thing actually works really well. Not as good as the actual Tornador, but it does a good job. Now I also have bolted here a nice 240 volt that's split into 120 volt that Tony Ralda made for me. And that goes right in the back of our generator. If you want to see more info on that, then it's in that generator slide out video. Now the pressure washer system here is a new system. I use these really nice ball valves that I switched out. It's gravity fed into the tank. I even bolted down the hoses here to keep them nice and organized. And I can disconnect everything very easily by just disconnecting that garden hose adapter and then stopping the flow of water. And I can take the entire tank out if I needed to. But I plumbed everything in here custom. And I even have some other ideas later on that I plumbed that other ball valve. That's not connected to anything but I have some future ideas. Now you notice to fill my tank, I've upgraded that as well. Now here's one of the side doors in the back. I switched all of the brushes onto this side now, and then I have miscellaneous products here, different types of trim dressings, and I also have some other protectants in here, some solvents that I use, uh, some wheel cleaners. So there's a variety of stuff here that I store on this door. And on this door here, it's a little barren. I plan to add more stuff, but I hang dry the rubber or plastic mats after they've been cleaned and pressure washed, and I hang them here to dry, which is very convenient. So let's go into the side door. So here's where I added a few more things to this side door. Now, as we walk into the trailer, you'll notice I have five gallon buckets here of all of my water. That's my wheel bucket that I use. I have my little ladder here. And I also have my rolling cart, which I actually have strapped down and bolted to the floor so that it doesn't move around. I'll use this for paint enhancements or if I'm polishing a vehicle, I'll actually take it out of the trailer when we're on our mobile jobs. That way I can roll it around the vehicle. So I have my trusty vacuum here as well. Don't forget to carry plenty of gas. And I also store just some extra cleaning items here. These are actually magnetic, so they attach to the metal drawer. And if you open this up, again, miscellaneous items, I always carry extra things in here. And I can also roll this out and I have all of my pads in here stored away nice and clean. And this actually locks 
in place and when this shuts it locks everything so this doesn't come out. I have an extra tall ladder here as well. I have my detailer's helper belt. I also have my 30 foot vacuum hose. This connects perfectly to the rigid four gallon five horsepower vacuum. I have my extractor hose and nozzle here and you notice I have two bags. The black one here is for gross, dirty interior and exterior towels. And this one here is for exterior and glass cleaning towels only. And I wash these separately. Under here, I have the extractor machine, my old trusty Mighty Light 8070, extra buckets of water, a trash barrel back there, and just extra room for storage. Now I built this nice tabletop that goes into the V-nose and it utilizes all the space here really nicely. So again, miscellaneous tools, screwdrivers, wrenches, things like that. I have power connected, which I'll show you that connects to the outside of the trailer into the house. I have drawers here with miscellaneous cleaning items. I have my trusty coffee cups and sugar and pods for my coffee maker right here. I have my gloves that are actually bolted into this nice little holder here. And again, more miscellaneous items. So the drawers here are organized into different sections. So the top section here are for applicators and wash mitts and extra towels that I need. The second one down is for all exterior towels. So nice towels that I want to keep separate for exterior only are kept in here. This drawer is all the other miscellaneous towels. So multi-purpose towels, uh, interior and exterior, grungy towels, things like that go into this drawer. This one is just my glass cleaning towels only. And this drawer is for any of my vacuum nozzles, brushes and tools and things like that. So they will all go into this bottom drawer. Now looking on the table here, I can fit, I have my VX5000 steamer. This thing works amazingly. I have reviews on this also. I have my battery charger. This thing is not a charger, it's a jumper box. This thing is awesome to have. If you're working on the interior of a vehicle and you forget to turn the lights off or something like that and you run the battery dead, you need to have one of these to jumpstart the vehicle. Again, miscellaneous items. And now I have all here my bottles of chemicals and stuff that are diluted into gallon form. I also have my polisher holder. So I have my Porter cable, my Rupes polisher, and this thing is from Max Shine. I love this thing. It holds the cords, organizes this. They don't fly off. They don't damage anything. So now I have more bottle holders up here, miscellaneous brushes. When my pads are all dirty from waxing vehicles during the day, I just put them up there. So looking on the outside of the trailer, I installed this little guy. So now I can plug into shore power, which is basically just plugging into my house. So I bought this nice lit extension cord. It's about six feet and I plug it right into my house. So that way I can run the little heater, which is tucked away right there if I need that for tonight, which is tonight gonna be cold? No, it's gonna be 47. I won't have to use that, but that's plugged into there whenever I need to heat up the trailer. I attached the hose inlet to fill up the tank on the outside here. Just another added feature that I wanted to install connects to the float valve in there. So guys, is having a trailer like this completely necessary? No, it's not. You can choose any type of detailing rig that you want. If you wanna work out of the back of your sedan with the right tools and equipment, then that's up to you. You can totally do that. This is just my setup that I wanted to have for a long time, and I'm always adding things to it. I'm always customizing things, and that's just something that I enjoy doing, and it benefits our business as well. It streamlines the whole detailing process. Now, I'm gonna show you an extended trailer tour as well. This is just kind of a short one. So if you want to check out that new video, then Tony will have the links down below so that you can check that out on our channel. So thank you, Tony, for featuring me on your channel. And I look forward to seeing the other detailing setups that are going to be featured on this channel. So guys, consider subscribing to Tony's channel. He has a ton of awesome content and he does an amazing job at building these custom detailing setups in either vans or trailers. So definitely subscribe to his channel and hit that bell. That way you get notifications each time he comes out with a new video. That way you don't miss stuff. So back to you, Tony. Thank you so much, Phil, for sharing your setup with us. And now, guys, I want to tell you this, guys. Uh, the main thing of this series of videos is to bring ideas for you guys, to share, you know, like different ideas from different detailers. And that's how we can create our own mobile detail setups. And that's the way I did it. I pretty much start watching videos from different YouTubers, stories, detailing, uh, a and a professional service and back in the days sporties and pretty much I was watching their uh, setups and how they was uh, pretty much doing business so and 
like I said, guys, uh, it's just to bring ideas for you guys. And like, for example, I like the idea of how a coffee maker on your dry land. <laughs> That's something that I really like because having a big or a full size dry land, you can care anything, guys. Like, and for the winter time, if you have a coffee maker, it's good. It's something good to get warm or whatever, you know, like I like his uh, slide out generator. I like how he got his pressure washer, water tank, the plumbing on his uh, on his trailer. It's amazing. I, I just love it. So, all right, guys, if you guys like content like this, please consider subscribe and click that bell. That way you guys will get notifications each time we drop a video. Give us a like and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye.